Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a 10 minute makeup glow up. So I thought I'd get ready with you guys in 10 minutes or less. This is what I use if I'm in a rush, if I am doing my makeup for a more natural glam kind of thing and I want to just slay in 10 minutes or less. This is my go-to routine. So if you guys are interested in how to slay on the daily in 10 minutes or less, stay tuned and keep watching. <laughs> So I feel like the number one rule is to have all of your products that you want to use just out laying in front of you, not mixed here and there with all your other makeup because I swear that is my biggest issue is I'm fumbling around looking for all the products that I want to use and it takes up time, very unnecessary time that we don't need to be wasting. We need to be using towards making ourselves nice and pretty. So just a little FYI, this video will probably be longer than 10 minutes just because I love chatting with you guys. But I swear by this routine, it takes me less than 10 minutes if I'm just like pumping out these steps. Okay, so first things first, I love to start with my eyes just because I use tape to get my wings nice and sharp and do them really quickly. So first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes using my MAC Soft Ochre Paper and a beauty sponge and just dab that baby all over the lid to conceal any of those veins or redness or anything like that. So next step before we do our wings, I'm going to go in with a little bit of eyeshadow through my crease just to get a bit of definition there, a bit of depth back to the eye. So on a fluffy 221 soft crease brush from Zoeva, I'm going to take this kind of medium shade brown, a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone, perfect as a transition shade, and just plonk that through my crease. I always prefer to keep most of the pigment focused on the outer corner and then brush whatever's left through toward the inner corner just to give a subtle cat eye effect. I love a good, like, just a bit of brown through the crease. It just adds such a difference to the eyes. Like, mm, mm. Okay, and that's eyeshadow done. Next, I'm going to bang on my wings. So I'm going to grab some sticky tape and I'm going to mark out my wings from the corner of my eye to the tail of my brow, that kind of upward lifted angle. And I'm going to try and make them as even as possible. I mean, I don't fluff around too much with this process because... <laughs> It's a 10 minute routine, we're not going to be fluffing around too much. I would say they're pretty even, that's good enough. Next I'm going to take my Unshakeable Liquid Eyeliner from Mia Adora and start drawing up my wings. I want some fierce AF wings today guys, I'm feeling a nice thick dramatic wing. And now for the most satisfying part is just peeling off the tape and having those nice crisp sharp AF wings. Man, I could fly away with these bitches. We do have like a slight bit of leakage like this part here. It doesn't matter because we haven't done our base yet so we can just clean that up with some concealer. Hence why I love doing my eyes first in this routine. Okay, next is a quick coat of mascara to my top lashes. And then whilst the glue is drying on my falsies, I'm going to go ahead and just do my base of my face. So for primer today, I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie, my go-to ride or die. It's my complexion primer from Urban Decay. I just find this helps so much in evening the skin tone, blurring the pores, all those kinds of things. And I literally just bang it on with my fingers and just massage it into the skin. Into the skin. And you see, it just completely evens up the skin. Oh, mm, so juicy! I love it so much. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with my Perfecting Liquid Foundation from Airborne in the shade Neutral Beige. I'm gonna literally just whack it all over the face first. That's about a couple pumps worth just to have it all plonked on there and then I'll go in with my beauty sponge I just find this is the fastest thing to help blend it all in like yeah a brush will blend it but it doesn't blend it fast enough in my opinion so I just go in real quick bit of dabbing here and there and she's pretty much ready to go so before I continue on with the rest of the base I'm going to go in with my lashes the lashes I chose to use today were my iconics from House of Lashes I just think they're so Friggin' pretty with winged liner and they just give something extra to the eyes. Really love it for like an everyday lash. More like an everyday dramatic lash actually, not like an everyday subtle lash. I always like to make sure they're sitting on an upward angle just because we have such a dramatic um, winged liner going on. I want to make sure that you can see them above 
that liner so like they're not lost and I feel like they just really lift and open the eyes if they're sitting on an upward angle you know oh my god my hand flourishes sometimes like I can't I can't even so usually by this point I'm about five minutes into my routine so the eyes are done face is basically done I've just got to conceal bronze and do my brows and all that jazz as well so for concealer I'm going to go with my LA girl pro conceal in the shade creamy beige and I'm concealing in a triangle under the eyes, around the nose, definitely down the bridge of the nose, chin and forehead. So I just like to highlight these areas, plus give it a little bit more coverage and I'll also contour a little bit with it. And taking my beauty sponge, this is from Eco Tools. I'm just going to blend out that concealer. So I'm going to set the concealer in place before I go in with my powder bronzer. So I'm going to go in with my raw super infused pressed powder in the shade Nude. And I take this on a dry beauty sponge. I know so many people love using a pressed powder or so on a, on a damp beauty sponge. I just can't get behind that fad like literally it just does not sit well on my skin it just looks patchy and crusty i don't know if i'm doing it wrong i don't know i don't know so i just basically go in with a dry sponge and just press it it's like baking but without the excess so i just press it all into the skin right where we place the concealer so now that all the face is set I'll go in with a setting spray to lock it all in place I always like to do this before I do the rest of my base just because it helps to lock that powder base in and really set everything in place I just feel like for a longer period of time okay because I just can't stand seeing myself without my brows on in the viewfinder I'm going to go ahead and fill my brows before I do the rest of my base now this part's optional I have done it in another video um, my minimal like makeup routine I just put a tinted brow gel through my brows however for a more snatched 10 minute makeup look where I actually have time to do my makeup like my brows I'm going to just quickly fill in the patches that need a bit of love a bit of attention so I'm going to take two brow powders because I'm a little bit extra like that I'm going in with a soft brown first and just filling in the head of the brow just a smidgen just a little bit and literally that's all I do is just put a couple flicks through the head of the brow to give it a colour back there. Then I go straight in with the deep brown shade and just do the tail of the brow a little bit. Just a little bit. So I'll literally focus the most on the bottom part of my brow. Then I'll just feather through the rest just to fill in, like I said, any sparse areas. And for a 10 minute look, legit don't bother carving them out. I'm literally just all for a more natural brow. Then for brow gel, I'm going to go in with my Ardell Clear Brow Gel and just quickly whiz that through my brows real quick. I mean like just a couple flicks through. Okay, so for bronzer today, I'm just going to quickly warm up the complexion with my classic NYX Contour and Highlight Kit. I mean, what else, guys? What else would I be using? And on my big fluffy Chi Chi bronzer brush, I'm just going to start placing this on. And my favourite thing is to always just hit like the bridge of my nose because I just love that kind of sun, like sunburnt kind of look. The tan look like you've got a nice healthy bit of vitamin D. You've been out in the sun cooking a little bit. I just love that look. Now, I know right now it's like a huge phase again to wear blush. For a 10 minute look, I skip that step. I just don't feel it's necessary. Especially because I'm going for more of a bronze kind of just undone look. So, I'm going to go in with highlight today. And I've been loving my Master Chrome highlight again from Maybelline. What I do is I just take my finger and I'll just wipe it across my face. Like just the high point. I find it so much easier to apply. I get such a nice effect of it just kind of rolling across that cheekbone. And I love just hitting the high points of the cheeks when you smile. I find just using my finger as well is just quicker than digging around for a brush. So I'm just going in, banging it on the tip of my nose and cupid's so, eye. And a little bit on the lip. A little bit. And then I'll go in and spritz my face one more time with some of that setting spray. So to finish up the look, I actually do leave my bottom lash line bare. I won't put mascara on, I won't put any liner in the waterline. I actually prefer to 
to have it more top heavy with like an everyday 10 minute look. So I actually prefer to have it left like this. So I'm going to move on with the lips, which is my last step. And I'd keep it pretty soft and just dab a little bit of this liquid lipstick in the shade Pale, Pl Pale Plethora from Zoeva. And I don't want a full, like harsh, full kind of lip. I just want something real soft. Okay guys, so this concludes today's makeup tutorial on this 10 minute glow up transformation. I really hope you guys did enjoy it today and got a few tips and tricks from it. Like I said at the beginning, you want to make sure you do it like step by step because you can save time in different places like I did with the lashes. I just did other parts of the routine while they dried. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's look. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe down below to my channel. Just click that little red button and the little bell next to it so you can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Otherwise, have an amazing day guys. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.